Hey everybody, Brickliver18 here today with a four-part video of how I sort and store my Lego. This four-part video series is going to be broken down into different areas of my Lego room where I store my Lego pieces. In video one, we're going to take a look at how I store my most uncommonly used Lego pieces as well as my slopes. In video two, we're going to take a look at this colorful storage container where I store most of my mainly used Lego pieces as well as how I store my circle pieces and my tiles. In video three, we're going to take a look how I store things like plates, my vehicle parts, as well as my minifigure parts. And finally, in video four, we're going to take a look how I store my Lego bricks, just the regular bricks, as well as my instruction manuals. Hey everyone, part 3 here with how I sort and store my Lego pieces. Over here in the first drawer I store my 1x whatever plates. It doesn't actually matter what size of plates, I have 1x1 one one from 1x one like I probably 12 or something in this bin. I just store if it's 1x whatever, it's in this bin. The next drawer here is 2x whatever plates. As you can see, whatever 2x color plates I have, any size, any length, whatever, all 2x2 two two plates are in here. Over here in this third drawer is anything over 2x2 two two plates, so I have everything from 2x2 two two corner plates to 16x16 16 16 plates. Over here I actually store my printed tiles, so any tiles that have any sort of printing whatsoever are stored in here. These are all just the random loose ones that I may only have a couple of, and as you can see I have them face up so I can always see like what tiles are in there. When you pull the drawer out farther you can see that there's this little organizer where I store a bunch more tiles that I have more of or want to keep separate like the letters and eye pieces. This drawer here is like an other drawer, so basically any LEGO piece that doesn't really have a spot, like these teeth pieces, bionicle pieces, they basically all just get shoved in this drawer. Finally, the last drawer here is LEGO City stuff, so really any vehicle, street signs, things I don't use, like even fishing line, I store in this drawer so I always know where it is. Over here on the other side, on the top drawer, I keep all my vehicle parts. As you can see, it's quite a deep bin with a lot of different random pieces in it, and this isn't organized very well, so if I want a steering wheel, I have to dig through this whole bin just to find a little, little steering wheel. Finally, these last two drawers on these sides are just pieces that need to be sorted. So as the CD, the top drawer, I've taken a little bit of pieces out and sorted that yesterday, but I need to put all these pieces back into all the other bins in my collection. This bin is like sort of three quarters of the way full, and this bin is all the way full. Over here in these two stack ones is how I store my minifigure parts. Up here at the top we have Lego wheelbarrows, Lego dollies, Lego motorbikes for like police and things like that, regular Lego bikes, as well as Lego skateboards. Below that is the whole chairs row. We have red chairs and brown chairs and yellow chairs and pink chairs as well as blue chairs. Down below that we have Lego lights that don't actually light up, Lego teeth pieces, Lego saw pieces, Lego zipline pieces, as well as Lego binocular pieces. Below that is Lego wrenches, Lego books, Lego hair accessories, Lego crowbars, as well as Lego megaphones. Next up are handcuffs, shield pieces, shovels, axes, money briefcases, my sick fig parts which I don't have very many of, Lego balls, Lego electronics, and this other pieces that don't really have a category. Over here back at the very top of the other container I have Lego jewel pieces, Lego gun pieces, minifigure stands, more Lego motorbikes the other style, Lego flags, Lego Friends mini dolls, any sharp weapons like swords and knives, Lego sign pieces, so Lego, Lego body parts and things like that, Lego cameras, fire and TNT, anything sports related, walkie talkies, any fabrics, mini mini figures, so like the figures you see in Lego games and things like that male minifigure hair, female minifigure hair, facial hair, anything rare, so that's kind of like shiny or gold or thing like that, musical instruments and microphones, here I have food, dishes for the food, Lego footwear, helmet visors, magnifying glasses, more sort of body parts, an empty drawer, and next to that I have minifigure hands sorted between yellow and colored. 
Next to that is how I store my torsos and my arms. So I divide them into two categories. So tan torsos here, tan arms here. Over here, continuing on the other side, I have brown torsos and brown arms. Yellow torsos and yellow arms. Pink torsos and pink arms. Gray torsos and gray arms. Blue torsos and blue arms. White torsos and white arms. Green torsos and green arms. Orange torsos and green arms. Black torsos and black arms. As well as red torsos and red arms. Below that I keep minifigure hats and any headgear pieces like hats. Next to that I keep helmets or things that go over the heads. Beside that I keep all pants printed and non-printed. As well as beside that I keep anything back accessory. So if it goes on their back, it goes in this thing. Finally, the last drawer are minifigure heads. So I use the Jenny Bricks method of sorting heads. As you can see, I have all the different heads here so I can see what's on their front as well as their back printing. Thanks everybody so much for watching part number three of how I sort and store my Lego. In this episode, you saw how I sort and store my like plates and printed tiles as well as all my different minifigure parts. Thanks everybody so much for watching and stay tuned for next week for week number four, the final episode.